The information in this video is provided for informational and educational purposes only. Welcome to Joseph DN, where you'll get a little shot of what my life is like living with SMA. I don't know about you guys, but after 2020, I'm ready to do something a little bit fun. But sometimes it's hard to know what I can do, and doing something new can be a little stressful. But today I wanted to show you a couple things that I've done that were kind of fun, and I encourage you guys to do something new. After seeing an ad on Facebook from our local orchard that the honeyberries were ready to pick and come on out, I thought, ooh, that sounds like fun. I had only learned about honeyberries about a year ago, and I know they grow on a shrub, kind of like raspberries, so I figured I could maybe pick them. But I tried calling to see if they were accessible or if they thought a wheelchair could get to the patch, but nobody answered the phone. I suppose they were getting too many calls on when they can come and pick, so all they had was a message stating their hours. So, on a whim, Mom and I decided to go check it out. I don't have much footage, unfortunately, but I was pleasantly surprised. I only had to do a little bit of off-roading to get to the patch, and once I was there, the berries were, were a great height to reach. It was a little bit shady, so my dexterity wasn't the greatest, but it was fun regardless. Here you can better see the scale of the shrub to me as I'm attempting to pluck a berry off the bush. I don't even know if it actually made it into the basket or not. We both purchased two of the half pint berry baskets to fill, and I maybe filled a quarter of one. But mom quickly filled the rest, and when we got home, I made a, a honeyberry smoothie, and I even made some muffins out of them. So I definitely would recommend giving it a shot if you have an orchard in your area. The other fun thing I did was flying a drone. If you remember, uh, maybe about a year ago, I posted about flying a drone and that it was kind of difficult. But I didn't want to give up on it, so I decided to purchase a better quality drone. Now, a little disclaimer, even if you fly drones for recreational purposes, there are rules to follow, so kind of uh, figure out what those are and brush up on that. But here's some footage of my drone flying this year. We're gonna try this again with this drone. My goal is to get across the field, so we'll see what happens. I'm gonna take off. Last year, beans were planted in the field. This year, it's a beautiful sea of wheat. It's fun seeing the barn swallows swoop in and out of the frame as well. My sister lives just on the other side of those trees. My goal here is to thread the needle to get to my sister's house. I have to say, the navigation on the Mavic Mini is pretty incredible. If you lose sight of the drone for just a second, you can figure out where you are by the video image on your phone and the map navigation. So that's pretty cool. And it looks like nobody's home. A couple other features that give me a little reassurance are the return to home button and the find my drone. So if you don't know where your drone is or your battery is low, in return to home, it will bring the drone up to a preset height that should have been set to above any objects, and then it will return to your original location. And the find my drone, it makes the drone beep and flash so you can find it easier in case it does get lost. You just saw one of my mom's donkeys whiplash, and here's Lola, one of the kittens we rescued from under my shed last year. 
she was quite interested in the drone. So another disclaimer, keep your drone away from pets so they don't eat it. Next, we decided to take the drone to the lake. It did make me a little nervous flying over water, but again with the navigation, I felt confident I could do it. Initially, I had hoped that I could fly the drone 100% on my own, but I found it helpful to have assistance with the initial setup. Even though I think I could do it on my own, plugging the controller into my phone is difficult and just getting it set up is the trickiest part. But after that, I can fly it entirely on my own. The buttons that I can't quite reach on the controller, I can control from my phone. I guess drones are an example of you get what you pay for. I knew after I crashed the drone into the field last year, it wasn't the drone for me. But I wasn't ready to give up on drone flying altogether. So when I found the Mavic Mini Combo on sale, I picked it up. I think it was Amazon Prime Day. And they've come out with a Mavic Mini 2, so the first version dropped in price. And I'm really happy I grabbed it because I had a lot of fun with it. I really encourage you guys to try something new. If it's drone flying, maybe it's something else. But if you think you can do it, or even if you think you can't, but might be able to find a way, go for it. You never know. But that's all I have for you guys today. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.